Hi everyone, it's Patty again with It's Natural. We're doing the food recall update for September 1st through the 11th. We do have quite a bit um, with the FDA, so I wanted to get that um, right started with you all. And I hope everybody is well. And um, we'll go ahead and get started. Again, we have salmonella. Again, we have um, food allergens. And now we have fish poisoning. Wow. So we'll go ahead and get right into it, shall we? Okay. So the USDA is recalling just a couple, not too many. FDA is normally doing a lot this week. Um, so we'll go ahead and just jump right in with the USDA. It is BCI Foods Incorporated is recalling meat and poultry soup products produced without benefit of import inspection. And they are recalling approximately 3,304 pounds of meat and poultry soup products that were not presented for import reinspection with the USDA Food and Safety. Um, they were imported on the 17th of July and looks like quite a bit. So let's go ahead and look at the labels. All right, so it's Chef Chicken Home Style classic and I do not I've never seen this brand before so I'm wondering if it's um, I want to see big lot not big lots um, what is that store it's a discount grocery store one's Aldi but I don't even know if it's Aldi's um, save a lot, save a lot, save a lot. So, yeah, it doesn't say on there. But here's the different soups. So they weren't, um, they were not presented for import. So let's see. Yes, it was shipped to Aldi stores in New York and Pennsylvania. Uh, they bear can Canada's. So they were imported from Canada. I did not know that. So that was interesting to know. So they were shipped to Aldi stores in New York and Pennsylvania. There has been no reports of adverse reactions and consumers that have purchased it are urged not to consume it. They can throw it away or return uh, it to Aldi's for full place of purchase. Um, so it says consumers can call John St. Germain, Vice President of Sales of BCI Foods at 416-882-3513. So let's go to the second one with the USDA. And it's Hy-Vee Fresh Commissary recalls ready to eat beef and chicken products due to misbranding and undeclared allergens. So let's see, um, they're out of uh, Kenny, Iowa, is recalling approximately 6,233 pounds of ready to eat beef and chicken products due to misbranding and undeclared allergens. And it looks like the products were. Uh, produced on September 7th and 8th, which was just a few days ago. So let's go ahead and look at the label. It says meal time, Hy-Vee meal time. So I've never seen this brand also. So it must be, um, hmm. So they had cashew chicken and they had other general chicken. So this must be like deli prepared foods, beef with broccoli. And all you have to do is heat it up. Mongolian style beef. All right. Okay. Yes, yeah, this is a ready to eat beef. 
product recalled, the establishment number is 51558 or P51558. And uh, it was discovered during uh, food and safety did a plant ver in plant verification. So they uh, did an inspection. They are concerned. The Food and Safety Administration is concerned that consumers still have this in the refrigerator or freezers. So do not consume it if it's still in your freezers. Now, it doesn't say what state. Um, here we go. Here we go. Illinois. Iowa, Kansas, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. So they were shipped to those states to retail locations. And you're welcome to call their customer service number at 800-772-4098 if you have any questions in regards to that. So let's go ahead and get into the FDA. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. We have eight. All right. So the first one is dog goods again is recalling. Now, the reason why the dog food treats are being recalled is because of salmonella. Salmonella can be uh, transferred from the dog to humans by touch, apparently, or by touching the food, touching the um, actual dog treats. So these were the same. Again, it says there expands the voluntary recall of the chef Toby pig ears to pig pet treats because of possible some of the health risks as of September 3rd. This was a couple weeks ago also. So they're just continuously, it must be still out there. That's the only thing that I can think of. So they're recalling all 30 packs of the Berkeley Jensen brand pig ears sold at BJ's Wholesale Club stores. Um, it says purchase these were singular supplier in Brazil on September 2018 through August 19th. And they should have a link here. And here are all of the lot numbers. Let's see. They're not even saying what this is. It says it was distributed nationwide um, from September 2018 through August 2019. Uh, they're out of Pennsylvania, but it was uh, these were out of Brazil. So it doesn't say exactly. These have to be the lot numbers. They're not even saying what these are, these numbers that are on here. So I'm just... I believe these are the lot numbers. They're too short for a UPC code, though. All right. So it just tells you what um, the symptoms are. Vomiting, nausea, uh, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, abdominal cramping. And the pets um, are lethargic, diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, fever, vomiting with decreased appetite. And uh, it says they're going to continue their investigation. Um, they've lost, um, they've launched their own internal investigation. Uh, so they really are not sure which the FDA, the CDC is now involved. Um, so if you've purchased this item, you're welcome to call their number at 786-401-6533. So let's see what's our next one here. Great One Trading Incorporated issues expanding allergy alert of undeclared egg in fish ball products. Okay. So, Great One Trading Company, the affected states are Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut. Wow, and they have so many. They have mushroom fish ball, tofu style, fried fish cake, crab flavored seafood ball, cutla, cut, cuddle, fit, fish flavored seafood ball, shrimp flavored seafood ball. They have the CP, uh, UPC code and expiration date. Um, it says it just may contain undeclared egg. 
adults, no reported illnesses, and again, the affected states are Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut. So let's look and see if they have a, um, a package picture or an image. And it says consumers who have purchased the products are urged to return it to the place of purchase for full refund. And here we go. We do have a picture. So these were on here before too, so they must have found more that um, possibly were mislabeled because this was on also a couple weeks ago. Okay, so we're going to go to our next one here is UDIs or UDs, classic hamburger buns recalls due to potential presence of foreign material. I think they're a gluten-free company, UDs. I think it's that's how you pronounce it, or UDIs. I don't, I don't know how that's pronounced, but it is a ConAgra brand, and um, they are voluntarily recalling a limited quantity of approximately 2,200 cases of UD's classic hamburger buns due to the potential presence of small pieces of plastic, white plastic. And the company discovered the issue which occurred when the dough scraper was inadvertently incorporated into the production process of a small amount of the product. So uh, they have one UPC code, one case on here. Uh, case UPC must have been the same and let's see it says it was distributed for resale in the United States the specific information is listed below so it doesn't tell you exactly what states but let's look at the packaging here yeah the UDs is gluten-free but if I'm not mistaken I was looking at uh, the non -GM or the GMO brands, and I think ConAgra brand is a GMO brand. So even though this says it's gluten free, it does not say if it just says gluten free. Um, but UDs does not say whether if it's it says it's kosher, but it doesn't say on there whether or not it is non-GMO. So um, I'd be cautious with that too. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our next one here is Hometown Food Company issues voluntary recall of Martha White gluten-free sweet cornbread muffin mix. Goodness, that's a mouthful, due to possible presence of gluten. All right, so this is a limited voluntary consumer level recall of approximately 374 cases of two specific lot codes. And um, it's the people who have a wheat allergy, celiac disease, or gluten or wheat sensitivity consume gluten or wheat and may have adverse health effects and serious allergic reaction. So they want you to call your physician if you feel ill. It looks like it was distributed to through two retailers uh, nationwide, and they're not telling us who who the two. Um, yeah, it's not saying what what companies, what the retailers were. All right, so it says at Hometown Food Company, but it's not saying exactly where. It just said United States. So let's look at the package here. Martha White, that could be anywhere. I've seen these before. Now that I'm looking at these, I have seen that package before. So... They're everywhere, not just in two retailers. So if you have purchased that, they want you to call a number at one 
1939333 and yeah so it just says was distributed nationwide through two retailers oh well okay so our next one is the recall of yellowfin tuna steaks issued and this is the one with the food the poisoning the fish poisoning and it says the elevated levels of hist histamine or scromboid fish poisoning. Wow. So they announced this on the 6th. Initiated recall of refrigerated wild caught yellowfin tuna loins because of potential elevated levels of histamine. So the the tuna uh, the tuna loins were sold at Baker's, Dillon's, Gerber's, J.C. Foods, Kroger's, Payless stores in Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, uh, Kentucky, Kansas, Michigan, Missouri, Mississippi, Nebraska, Ohio, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia. So. There have been five reported illnesses from consumers. Wow. While the company feels there were isolated incidents, it has initiated this voluntary recall to take every precautionary measure when it comes to customer health and safety. So the elevated levels of histamine can produce an allergic reaction called histamine or uh, Scom broid fish poisoning that may result in symptoms that generally appear within minutes to several hours after eating the infected fish. The symptoms are tingling and burning sensation in mouth, face swelling, rash, hives, itchy skin, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. These symptoms usually resolve within several hours without medical intervention. However, each person may experience symptoms differently. If symptoms are severe, an individual should seek medical attention. Wow. So you're welcome to get a full refund uh, by calling 1-855-551-0118. So let's look at, no, they don't have no packaging material on that. All right. Okay, so we've got two more here. The Hy-Vee Voluntarily recalls several Hy-Vee mealtime Asian entrees due to un undeclared um, milk allergen. They're out of West Des Moines, Iowa. They're recalling, um, doesn't say how many, but uh, discovering the liquid egg used to make the fried rice contained milk and it wasn't on the label. And there has been um, no con uh, confirmed reports of illnesses or injuries. They were distributed to Hy-Vee grocery stores across these eight state regions, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. And there's quite a bit of list of the UPC codes here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's see, um, they removed it from the shelf once it was discovered. And I don't think we have any, yes, we have pictures. So this is just like the other one, the recall that we just had earlier. Um, it must be from the same company and this is private labeling because it's the same type of, the same um, same labeling and the same ingredients. So here's all the labelings. Sweet orange chicken. We've got Mongolian style beef again. Cashew chicken. Beef with broccoli, fried rice. All right, and last but not least, we have House of Spices India issues a recall of MDH Sambar Mascala due to salmonella poisoning or salmonella contamination, I should say. 
um, let's see, 3.5 ounce of their spice. The products were produced by R Pure Agro Specialties and distributed by House of Spices. And so the product was tef tested through the FDA certified laboratory and it came back as positive uh, for salmonella. And again, salmonella, um, diarrhea, abdominal cramps. Um, says that illnesses last for four to seven days. They were distributed in Northern California retail stores. Um, let's see. It doesn't say. Yeah, no illnesses have been reported. And if you have purchased that, you can get a um, refund by calling their consumer hotline or you can email them at customer service at house of spices india .com. their phone number 718-507-4600 well that is it everybody for we're all caught up until today Today is Wednesday, just for a few more minutes, and I will see you in my next video. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you in my next video. See you then.